What's going on YouTube? It's your boy and K really come back to another video here, man. If you are new to the channel, make your boy, yeah, you know, I'll be uploading other vids too. Now, nah, but today I just want to talk about the new survivor. Uh, really it's perks, because not really much to talk about the survivor. We we want to know about the perks, right? You want to know about the perks. And so the new survivor we have is called either Haiti or Hattie. I don't know how to pronounce it first. I don't know if it's Haiti or Hattie, but it's one of them. And her last name is Cow or or I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce her last name so she has three perks that we're going to talk about her first one being overzealous or overzealous i think overzealous there we go so the description for overzealous is that you need to cleanse a totem to activate the perk so it's 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 already on a line above like an inner healing because for inner healing to work you have to cleanse a totem and then you can go hide in the locker to heal yourself up so you got to cleanse the totem first to activate the perk and then once the perk is activated you can go repair a generator and you'll get depending on the uh the tier perk if you have you'll get uh either four percent five percent or six percent boost when you're repairing a generator so it increases the repair speed and then anytime that you're injured like anytime you get hurt the perk deactivate so it sounds basically like a opposite resilience but it's a weaker like opposite resilience if you're keeping it in the bean because when you have resilience you get a boost to repairing healing sabotaging unhooking vaulting cleansing opening and unlocking and then the boost for resilience are three percent six percent and nine percent and like i said it's the opposite it's like it's a worse uh opposite resilience base because you get all those boosts to resilience but only one thing to overzealous and for overzealous you get a six percent boost when you're repairing only when you're not injured but i can get that six percent boost when i'm injured if i'm using resilience with the second tier perk you only can get other you only can get up to six percent with overzealous and you can get up to nine percent with resilience and you get all those other benefits with resilience too the third tier for um overzealous is six percent the second tier for resilience is six percent third tier for resilience is nine percent so to be honest um i i would not run this perk if i was a survivor um to be honest like i, like I said it's a lesser opposite of resilience and then you need to go cleanse the totem to activate the perk at that and then the boost at that is not even as good as resilience like just use resilience like i don't have a problem being hurt around the map like you don't have to heal yourself all the time uh if you're uh hurt in the game as a survivor so i like that i can't recommend anybody using this perk unless they give it a buff or something in a uh, etb because like i said there's no point in running overzealous when it only does one thing and you need to do another thing just to activate the perk resilience you just gotta be hurt that's it so like I, I can't recommend this perk at all i i don't think i think it's like a d tier perk and the next perk that we have is inner focus so you can see other survivor scratch marks when they're within within 32 meters of you and so when another survivor also loses a health state so they go from healed to injured or injured i guess to downed uh the killer's aura is also revealed to you depending on the tier you have it could be either three four or five seconds i mean so aura reading is always good in the game i don't, I don't think it's this perk is that powerful uh it could definitely be useful i guess in certain situations like especially if you're trying to like run a flashlight saving build or something like that maybe because you'll see the killer's aura but like it's, it's not a it's not a great perk it's i think it's a very situational perk um probably like a c tier b c or d tier perk it's, it's not much better than overzealous that we just talked about before but uh, maybe i guess seeing uh, other survivor scratch marks might be good I, I don't know maybe if you're trying to it could be a flashlight saving build i don't know but it, it doesn't seem that good in my opinion um definitely these, these first two perks i just talked about definitely won't be meta then the last perk that hattie or haiti has is a residual manifest so after a successful killer blind the killer suffers from the blindness status effect um for 20 25 or 30 seconds depending on what tier you have and also with this perk um it grants you the ability to rummage through an open chest uh once per trial and then you'll be guaranteed a basic flashlight to be honest that that like second thing like getting the basic flashlight that's actually pretty cool man that is pretty cool so like this could definitely be run with like a flashlight saving build like maybe if you ran this with inner focus um they could definitely be a good uh matchup for like, like i said a uh, flashlight saving build i think you would need residual manifest to run inner focus but you don't need inner focus to run with it. residual manifest in my opinion but it would definitely be a good add-on just to run with it because once you blind that killer you the killer won't be able to see hook auras they can't see any auras once they're blind uh depend like from 20 to 30 seconds so maybe if you're running that with like a, a power circle type build power circle was 
actual perk. <laughs> I'll say a, a wiggle build. <laughs> if you're running it with a, a wiggle build, it could definitely help. Like maybe with boil over. Maybe if you're running breakout also with it, maybe it could be a, like a good combo perk, like a good loadout for um, a survivor. So it's like I said, this perk actually doesn't seem that bad. Like you get a free flashlight and then um, you also uh, give the blindness status effect to the killer. So I do have some questions about this perk though. So when running this perk, it says it gives you a basic flashlight. And the basic flashlight is the, the yellow one, like the worst tier flashlight. So obviously you could run ace in the hole with this and give um and give some, some add-ons to the flashlight if you run into the chest. I would assume you should you should be able to do that. I believe so. So I mean running an ace in the hole with this, maybe if you want just a free flashlight, I don't know. Maybe it'll be good to run. But my real question is what happens if you run plunderer's instinct? Because I'm not really too sure about how plunderer instincts work because I, I really don't run the perk, but it says the description of the perk is uh the ores of unopened chests and items in the environment are revealed to you're standing within 32 meter range it grants you considerably a considerably better chance at finding an item of higher rarity in the chest so i don't is this only is plunder instincts only for unopened chests i'm not too sure because like if that's the case if if oh, well, if it's not the case um and you can you run plunder's instinct with residual manifest would it grant you a higher tier flashlight i probably i don't think so just because um residual manifest says it guarantees a basic flashlight when you're rummaging into an open chest that's what it's saying so i know no planner instincts is unopened chest so maybe not maybe you maybe it doesn't do anything if you run planner instinct maybe you just get that basic flashlight i mean it is a free flashlight but it was really just a question because like i i didn't know because i I never ran Plunder's Instinct. I'm always trying out different builds, but I, I haven't tried out anything with Plunder's Instinct yet. This perk is probably like similar to like a B or C tier perk. It's not, it's not, it's not meta. It's not great, but it, it is a good perk. I'll, I'll, I'll give that. It's a good perk. It's not none too crazy. I think it's better than the other two perks. You say you get the blind killer and you get a free flashlight. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's really much it. That was my quick thoughts on the new kill. Uh, my thoughts on the new survivor. But if you haven't already, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, you can follow my Instagram and Twitter because I do be on there also make sure you turn on the notification bell because youtube always doesn't recommend when i upload you can check out my other videos too man check them out until next time it's your boy nk rudy signing off Ain't no back up if a nigga act up then he getting clapped up y'all tell your bitch to back up she just want to chill she just want to split my pack up y'all